Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Some of you may have remembered back about, I don't know, six, eight months ago, maybe more, I forget exactly when. I put out a video and uh, said that we would see martial law by the end of the coming summer. Now, many of us see it. We know the executive orders and the laws and the Obama administration and all these other things technically uh, put us under martial law. But as of this post... Uh, as of today, from the Intel Hub, for all you trolls and sheep that need confirmation from a, a more of a mainstream source before you believe it, uh, I want to read this post to you. The link will be below. But this is confirmation from the Intel Hub that we are under martial law. Headline reads, Air Force set to be deployed inside U.S. to collect data and search citizens. Uh, this was posted by Alex Thomas, IntelHub.com, June 7th. The United States Air Force, through the use of unmanned aerial drones, is set to be deployed inside the United States to collect data, investigate places of interest, and share data with local police agencies. An unclassified Air Force memo from late April documents the fact that the military is operating drone aircraft domestically and that, through a complete end run around the Constitution can essentially share it with local law enforcement even if it has no relation to terrorism. While many articles have been published detailing the fact that the military is or will be sharing information they collect with local law enforcement, a more startling fact has been largely ignored by the corporate controlled media until now, in quotations, in a recently published uh, op-ed Andrew Napolitano outlined the fact that once the military identifies something of interest, they can apply to a military commander for permission to conduct searches of American property and or citizens, which in turn is a form of martial law. It gets worse. If the military personnel see something of interest from a drone, they may apply to a military judge or military commander for permission to conduct a physical search of the private property that intrigues them and any incidentally acquired information can be retained or turned over to local law enforcement. What's next? Prosecutions before military tribunals in the United States, wrote Napolitano. The Electric uh, Frontier Foundation has also publicly commented on the fact that the Air Force is now openly recording information on the American people in domestic situations. We've seen in some records that were released by the Air Force just recently that under their rules they are allowed to fly drones in public areas and record information on domestic situations, explained Jennifer Lynch of the EFF. Madison Rupert, writing for EndTheLie.com, detailed the broad exception to a guideline that is supposed to limit the military from non-consensual surveillance. While the U.S. Air Force guidelines claim that the drones are not allowed to carry out non-consensual surveillance on U.S. citizens or property, there are plenty of exceptions to this allowing such surveillance to occur. Some of these exceptions outlined in the Air Force documents include investigating or preventing clandestine intelligent activities by foreign powers, international narcotics activities, or international terrorist activities, protecting DOD employees, information, property, and facilities, preventing, detecting, or investigating other violations of law. Seems pretty broad, doesn't it? Other violations of law leaves the door wide open for the drones to be used for just about everything. After all, jaywalking is a violation of law. Does this mean that if a drone captures someone jaywalking, the use of military drones in the United States airspace is somehow justified? That's right, Air Force now has the authority to carry out drone surveillance on American citizens for essentially any violation of law. Sadly, we now live in a country where 30,000 drones are set to be launched by various law enforcement agencies, the military, and private companies. The idea of the military not being used against the American people has now been completely thrown out the window by the only hope citizens of this country have left being support of individual military members who choose to go against these unconstitutional directives. End of post. Now, for you sheep who want, and trolls who want to distract, 
and say, oh, you're exaggerating. Now you're being monitored by drones under law. It's lawful. Where the hell are you? You're, you're not in a FEMA camp. You don't need to be in a FEMA camp. If you're in the United States, you're under surveillance. End of discussion. We have an illegal regime at the helm of this country. And until you sheep get off your ass and realize that and back up what you hear with information, the links are always provided, at least by me and many of the other people that I see. We always provide the links. You don't get off your ass. That's the problem. Anyway, for those that needed it, that's confirmation. We are now under martial law in the United States.